Hi guys, I just thought I'd uh, speak to you today about something that you'll, you'll instinctively know how to do really well. It's something called direct proportion. Now an example of direct proportion would be, direct proportion question, is if I said five pencils cost 25, sorry, uh, one pound 25, How much would seven cost? I think most of you would instinctively know how to solve that quite well. But what you do is, the real key to thing is, the whole prob type of problem is to find out how much one pencil costs. And you take that one pound twenty five. I'm going to divide it. In. I'm going to make it into pence. I'm going to divide that. So five does, goes into one no times. Five goes into twelve twice. Remains two. So that's twenty five p each. And that's crucial because now if I wanted to find what seven cost, so seven pencils. cost 7 times 25 which is £1.75 now there are some, some things about that problem which are really obvious but you probably wouldn't expect to have to explain or discuss the fact is that we've got one pencil cost cost 25p so every time you add a pencil on you can you can add on 25p to the cost so eight pencils would be one pound 75 plus 25p which is two pounds nine pencils is two pounds plus 25p, which is 225. And it's like a rate of change. So it's the rate at which cost changes uh, item now another thing that's important to notice here is that zero pencils costs zero p and it's quite usual in lots of maths to have a look at this graphically now I can see that we've got zero pencils costs 0p. So that puts me across just here. Now if I want to go to one pencil that costs me 25p, two pencils would be 50p, three is 75p, let's have to get all the these in line, and four is a pound, five is one pound, That is there, and six is one pound fifty, which is somewhere up here. Anyway, when I put my ruler along those, you can see that if I've done that correctly, they make a straight line. So all things that are in directly proportional, the things you notice about their graph is that go, they go through zero, zero, which we call the origin.
and then make a straight line. Now, things to notice about that line is, say I had said that uh, pencils cost 50p each, so I've got one and 50, two and a pound, uh, three and one pound 50, obviously it would still get more. Still going a straight line through the origin. Um, but a steeper graph. In this case, it indicates higher cost per item. So, in, and, in, and in many cases, we, we would think that this would be a higher, higher rate, higher rate of change. So the change cost goes up much more steeply on here than it does on there. So the steepness of the graph can relate to cost. Steepness, which we have an extra word which we're going to call gradient, that's the, the proper word for it, relates to cost. Right, so just to summarize, we've got this whole idea that. If something you'd expect to check to progress equally would be direct proportion. So the cost of pencils in this case would stay the same. So you'd, that specifically makes it direct proportion. Uh, and we know that no cost pencils cost no P. Uh, the key to finding an answer to a problem such as this would be to find out the cost of one pencil. And then we can move up using multiplication, so seven pencils cost this, but also there's the idea that the 25p helps us move from one thing to the other. So eight pencils is seven pencils plus 25p, nine pencils is eight pencils plus 25p, 10 pencils would be nine pencils plus 25p. And on this graph, you would see that step of 25. So we go one along and 25 up each time we move. So for every extra pencil, we go up by 25p. Every extra pencil, we go up by 25p. And that's real key to seeing a, uh, a straight line. That whole idea that this is constant, one along, same amount of what For every one, you change in the amount, it goes up by one. And things to, re to get from the graph, is a steeper graph means that it's higher cost, it, in many cases that would be a higher rate, the change is, is, a, is more pronounced for every one across, for every one extra it goes up more, one across it gets more, so the steepness is related to that and of course the gradient of the graph which is what we're talking about relates to the cost. And I think that should give you a good start into the topic, so enjoy and I shall hopefully see you soon. Thank you. Goodbye.